Hey everyone and once again welcome to WSQ Tech YouTube channel myself Umar Taskeer as in this particular video I am going to talk about Yoast plugin it is a very important plugin from SEO efforts point of view and whenever we want to do the SEO of our WordPress website Yoast is uh, a game changer kind of a plugin right so it's very popular very popular among different search engine optimizers so in this specific video we will be basically taking an overview of this particular uh, plugin that what uh, this plugin can do what kind of options are there then afterwards we'll be exploring more options of Yoast SEO plugin so uh, let us first install this plugin so right now I am on this plugin section once you log into your WordPress admin you just go to this plugin section click on this add new this is for the newbies basically if they are new and they are learning uh, SEO at a very basic level then this video will be very much helpful for them so let's search for uh, our plugin which is Yoast so we just have to put Yoast over here and we'll install this Yoast SEO plugin right one of the most powerful and you can see how many active installations are there five plus million active installations are there on almost uh, 27,000 plus uh, ratings that to five star ratings so it is great right this shows that the product is absolutely killer right and once we activate this okay it's done once you activate this thing you will be able to find seo section over here right this is the yoast seo and here you can find that uh, it is basically the settings are basically divided into five categories journal settings search appearance social tools and the premium version also because most of the features of yoast seo are free but there is premium version also of yours that you can uh, opt for if you actually require okay so if you are a beginner right then i'll not suggest you to go for the yoast seo premium version so you can do most of your seo uh, using a uh, free plugin itself right so you can see this one is the general section where we are having settings uh, uh, related to notifications and uh, there are some features right seo analysis which is on uh, I mean, what kind of uh, services you want from uh, Yoast, right? So you have XML sitemap uh, uh, feature over here, which is on right integration, admin bar menu. So these kind of settings are here in the journal settings. Then there is webmaster tool. So if you want to uh, verify Google search console using uh, Yoast, uh, Yoast plugin, that that all thing you can actually do, right? So you just have to put your Google webmasters or the Google search console verification code over here and you have to make the save changes that's it because you have installed Yoast SEO plugin on your website there's no need to uh, put that uh, Google uh, search console verification code uh, directly into your uh, header section right you can simply uh, put it over here also right so this these kind of options are there in, in this general category when you come to this search appearance then you have general some general settings then you have content types right what kind of uh, single post urls will be there what kind of your seo title will be there right so there will be title and there will be page then there will be some separators and the site title and there then there is a, a description so these kind of settings you are having here in content types then we have media related taxonomies archives breadcrumbs right breadcrumbs are disabled over here but we can basically enable through, uh, enable the, those breadcrumbs using uh, the uh, Yoast SEO plugin itself, right? Then we have RSS um, RSS feed settings options over here. So these are the different uh, options that we have over here using this Yoast SEO plugin, right? And uh, then there is social. Uh, then there are some social settings also. So uh, we can we can integrate our different social media platforms over here like facebook twitter pinterest we all, we all have these kind of options over here and then we have tools related option and the last but not the least is the premium section right so if you want to buy it if you want to use some premium features of yours that too is here right as we know that we have to do the seo of our each and every individual page right so this is basically the general overview what we done so far right now as we know as i just mentioned that uh, it is important for us to do the seo of each and every page right so let's go to the page level and see what kind of uh, yoast settings are there or what kind of features yoast is providing us at that page level so we can directly make some changes over there right so uh, we'll go to pages we just have to come over here the pages section and then we have to click on this all pages 
and from here we will be redirected to our pages so for example let's uh, choose one page which is contact us there's no reason behind choosing page i just randomly did it right so once you have your seo plugin installed right once you have your seo plugin installed you have to come down and here you will be finding your seo section right seo related section and it is here right so this is it yoast seo you have to open it so most of the time you will find it uh, open by default but still if it is closed uh, you have the option over here you can open it then you have to put your focus uh, keyword over here which will be a focus keyword or the primary keyword for your this specific page so now what we are doing is we are taking the help of yoast seo plugin and we are trying to optimize a single page which in this case is our contact us page right so how our contact us page will uh, look like into google search engine result pages here is the snippet preview and then there is seo analysis which is one of the most important feature or the most uh, interesting options present in yoast seo now uh, it will automatically do uh, some analysis of this your uh, page and it will provide you some suggestions so what yoast actually does over here is yoast automatically identifies some problems it it basically uh, does a uh, audit kind of thing for your page and it identifies the problems and then there are some improvements and kind of suggestions for you right so what you have to do is you just have to come over here the problem section and whatever red is here right whatever red is here what you have to do is you have to make them green right so once your problems are solved once you are done with all these stuff what will happen is your uh, this red uh, red dot mark will disappear and it will become green which will say that okay now you have done this thing right so no uh, description length is here and the uh, text length is also very uh, small over here right you can see there's no text in this page so that is why they are prompting us that the text length which we used over here is quite small and we have to um, produce more text over here right then image alt attributes are also missing on this specific page so it basically the yoast plugin basically audits our page on the basis of some on page factors and then they give us the result that is basically after the analysis that what are your problems and what kind of improvements do you actually need right so this is how it actually works so this is the first section which says seo then you have readability related issues over here see so what i told you for this specific tab that uh, you have to make all these uh, points or these bullets which we are seeing over here as green right so the red mark indicates that there 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 are some problems and the good result right passive voice subheading distribution is there paragraph length is there sentence length is great everything is fine so that is why uh, we are having green over here so we have to look for all these options and look for the suggestions look for the problems and we have to fix these things actually right then we have schema section over here and then we have social section over here so these are the different options which uh, yoast seo provides us so if we come to the settings part of the yoast seo then what we can actually say is yoast is uh, your settings we are having some general settings uh, such appearance related settings social settings and tools related settings over here and then we have this yoast uh, uh, control bar kind of a thing settings bar kind of a thing at the bottom of each and every page wherever you will go so for that specific page you can make seo related changes using this yoast seo plugin so guys in the next video we'll be talking about some more features which are there in the yoast plugin so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye